Okay, hi YouTube, Mr. Tuesday Boss here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about PPSSPP. Now, you may be aware that this is a free PlayStation Portable emulator that's available on the Google Play Store. And I have to say, it's fantastic. I mean, the fact that you can actually play some real classics on the go is, you know, it's really something, and it's free. I mean, there is a gold version, but it's actually identical to the normal version. It's just that it's sort of like a, a way of donating to the developer who made it, which I might actually do, just because it's so great. Now, I'm currently playing the game on Shield, and, you know, it does actually also work on just about every other Android device. I think you need to have Android 4.0 or higher, so you should be fine. So the game I'm actually playing is Final Fantasy Tactics, and this is an absolutely massive game. I mean, it's something like, you know, 200 hours of gameplay here, and that's just in one PlayStation Portable game. Considering you can actually take the whole PlayStation Portable library with you, providing you have a large enough micro SD card, you, there's, you know, there's an absolute vast amount of games you can play. I mean, clearly there is a little bit of a control issue on a touchscreen device, but I'm sure it's something you can get used to. I mean, the physical buttons are obviously better, but on-screen ones are kind of alright, you know, they'll do. So a couple of things to note is, firstly, is that there's just a tiny bit of lag. Uh, that is more input lag rather than the actual frame rate drops. And that means that games which require real Twitch-based performance, such as Patapon, you know, where you really have to get the exact timing right, don't seem to work as well. But just about every other game, you know, I've tried Ratchet and Clank, I've tried tactics games, I've tried tower defense, they all work perfectly and it really is a joy to play. And in some ways it's actually a better experience than on the PlayStation Portable because you can fiddle with all these ridiculously detailed settings. You can create vignettes and you can enhance your color saturation. You can play the games at native resolution, so that could mean 1080p PlayStation Portable gaming. Now while you may take a bit of a hit in terms of frame rate, it'll look great. Now this video is not really intended to be like a lengthy gameplay video, but I mean if you are interested in seeing some more gameplay of this, just leave it in the comments below. This is more a sort of introduction uh, to the emulator for those of you who haven't seen it, because I recommend you at least try it, because it's actually really really good, and I'm sure you can find some PSP games that you like. I mean let's not forget here that, you know, GTA was released for the PSP, clearly not the full console game, but a very very respectable port. And, you know, that is playable on your mobile phone, so go grab it now. And yeah, there's just tons of real classics. I mean, you could even try playing Monster Hunter if your device is capable enough. And that does actually work pretty well. You get something like 75 to 80% of the actual frame rate on a high-end device. And they're continuing to patch it and improve it, so the experience should just get better and better. Sound quality is pretty good, but there are a couple of stutters. But yeah, the experience overall is hardly to be faulted considering it's free. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.